Today, I'm on the Mississippi River in Dubuque, Iowa, aboard the American Lady, a ship that is designed to take passengers for scenic views along the shores of the Mississippi. This is an afternoon lunch cruise in mid-September. Here she is waiting for everyone to board. Let's get inside and I'll show you around. As we get underway, it is a gorgeous day in Dubuque, Iowa on the Mississippi River. That breeze is feeling nice as it's quite warm, but the captain is going to give us a brief explanation of how the locks and dams work to navigate the various levels of the Mississippi. When they're ready, they will open up those gates and you get in there. When you're set safely um, against the wall, they will close the gates raise or lower the water level inside there to get you to the other side and then open the gates on the other side and away you go. If you don't have any boats in front of you and you don't have to wait for anybody else to lock through, you might get that whole thing done in 20 or 30 minutes. If you got behind a barge that just started the process, uh, settle in because it might take two or three hours for him to get through there. We won't be going through any locks and dams on this short trip, but we will be seeing them as we approach and turn around and sort of make a big circle just to get a, a view of the beautiful shoreline and get out on the water. As you see, we've chosen a nice spot along the back of the ship with a great view and some seating where we're going to have our lunch. A little bit later they serve a buffet here on the American Lady and it's really about just relaxing and taking in the views. I'm sure this would be absolutely gorgeous in the fall as the leaves change. It would be quite a bit cooler though. Certainly no jet skiing that time of year but today we have the sun and the breeze to help keep us cool. Some good food later on and some fun times with some close friends. So I'm definitely enjoying this excursion today with Old Glory flying in the background. I've made my way to the bow of the boat so I can get a good look at these bluffs and the first lock and dam system that we're gonna be checking out. As we approach it, we'll get a closer look here in just a moment. But on the upper Mississippi River, we have smaller rivers and streams that are tributaries. So there's more of a fear of low water problems up this way. So if we ever had droughts or really dry summers like we've had for the last three years, these bridges help prevent a stoppage of river traffic. And they do that by holding back some river. So these are designed to let the river actually flow right through them, but these gates hold back the top portion of the water. And if you look at those three gates right in the middle, you can see they are set lower than the other gates. That gives you a pretty good representation of how high the river is on the other side. So if you have 27 of these dams, each one holding eight or 10 feet of water back, you have a lot of water in reserve just in case we have a real bad lack of rainfall and they need to release some of that water to keep the channel deep enough. Look, this is a typical river scene, not just for Dubuque, but for all kinds of river areas. People with their boats enjoying a nice summer day. Get in your boat, take a ride for a while, maybe throw a cooler with some food. The main level of the vessel has seating and in the back, they'll be setting up the buffet shortly for our lunch. There's also a bar. It's all enclosed down here and air conditioned, which is very nice on this warm day. Upstairs, there's also a portion for additional seating with nicer views. The captain there operating the vessel. And then we spent most of our time on the back deck where it was open air and additional tables and seating as well. So after cooling off a bit in the air conditioning, I decided to make my way back down to the bow of the vessel and check out some more views. It was um, surprising to learn that this portion of the Mississippi River is really only about 9 to 10 feet deep. 
I don't know what I was expecting, but you see a huge river and you expect it to be super deep, but I'm sure there's other portions of it that are. And of course that changes as well with the rainwater and also the opening and closing of the locks and dams to control the level of the water. And as the captain was mentioning earlier, they do control that with these locks and dams so that when there are areas, since it does run all the way from uh, Minnesota all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico, there are portions that have low rainwater or um, just uh, are experiencing lower levels, and then those levels can be adjusted by using the locks and dams. Here we're passing through a rotating railroad trestle that pivots to allow for boat traffic and barge traffic to be able to pass through. It was time for lunch, so we made our way through the buffet line. I got fried chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy, pasta salad, and beef roast. They had soft drinks available and also a cash bar for those wanting an alcoholic drink. As we cruised down the river enjoying our lunch, there were some beautiful homes on these bluffs to check out and look at. We had a sneak peek into a little bit of Wisconsin, um, as well as on the west side of the Mississippi is Iowa, and on the east side is Illinois. And off in the distance, you can see the bridge that connects vehicle traffic from Illinois into Iowa, spanning across the Mississippi River. Off in the distance, you see a riverboat docked and it is a ship that's based out of New Orleans and passengers book that as they would a cruise ship. But rather than going out into the ocean, it goes along the Mississippi. So you have a suite and it's multiple nights with stops at various towns and destinations along the way. So sort of an interesting opportunity for those who might want to enjoy a cruise, but maybe don't feel comfortable out in open seas. Here you have the sort of protection of land on both sides, but you experience a cruise ship atmosphere. We're now traveling beneath the bridge that carries auto traffic from Illinois into Iowa. We loop around and make our way back into the harbor. Off in the distance, you can see the green bridge which connects Iowa to Wisconsin. So we're heading back into the port that we began from and had a very nice time a couple of hours out on the water well worth the experience if you're ever in the dubuque iowa area i want to thank you for joining me on this lunchtime cruise on the mississippi river aboard the american lady out of dubuque iowa a fun adventure something to do and 
really not crowded on this day that we were there, not at all, and a nice meal for a really reasonable price, about three hours west of Chicago, well worth the drive. And speaking of the drive, it is a very scenic one indeed. I stopped along a pull-off area to take in this gorgeous view as I drove back to Chicago. Absolutely breathtaking and so peaceful. And you have about the last hour and a half of the drive from Chicago to enjoy all of this gorgeous scenery. Well worth it. If you haven't subscribed yet, it's not too late. If you have, welcome to the family. I love you for watching.